Yo, 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 it's your boy AK Electro, and today what I got for you, as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail of the video, is who you should be choosing for the second inning boss program. Okay, before we do get into the video, please don't be afraid to go down and like and subscribe if you're new. I would greatly appreciate it. And also go to the description, check out those links, my Twitter, my Twitch, and also don't go, don't be afraid to click on the at Green Gang uh, TV uh, or big ass org and there's a lot of other dudes like me who post content almost daily. Um, but let's get into the reason you're here. Okay, so why you're watching this video is pretty much you don't know who to choose between Lee Smith, Bay, and Don Mattingly. Um, and I I'm here to help you. And I know this video is like four or five days after the thing came out. But unless you're glitching, which some people are for XP, you're not even there yet. And if you are grinding, you're getting there. Like, as you can see, I'm only at 100k right now. And I haven't done any of the collections, which I could possibly do. I have Valenzuela. Pick him up if you are new. Um, and I haven't done really the mission. So there's a lot of shit I could do. I haven't even done that. So there's a lot of stuff I can do. So you, you're you probably a little farther than me. I haven't been taking it too serious. But you're probably getting there close. You'll be here within the next week. And you guys are wanting to know who you should pick. And it really does depend on the team, but I'm going to narrow it down on who you should pick and why you should pick them up. So let's go all the way over. You get at 350k if you didn't know, if you're new to the game. And let's just hit triangle. You can hit triangle or uh, I guess like the top thing on the Xbox. I don't know what uh, button it is. And here's the three. You got Don Mattingly, Lee Smith, and Bay. And first off, we're going to look at Don Mattingly. I think this is the worst card. I don't think you go here. I really don't. He only plays first base, which a lot of players can play. He plays third and outfield. And outfield and third are pretty big positions, especially outfield. Outfield has always got to hunt millions of different people that you want to use. There's all the team affinity cards you can use over him. There's a whole bunch of team affinity cards you can use at first base over him, like Dom Smith. Literally, I would choose Dom Smith over this guy. Just because, look at it this way. He bats left-handed. And his contact's insane, but 50 power just does not cut it. Even if any, like, there's no way you're going with this guy. I, I just don't see why MLB looks at this card and goes, hmm, this guy people want. Maybe if you have a Yankees theme team, but besides that, you're not, you're not looking at 80 power and 50 power with 40 speed and going, I want it. Especially since you can only choose one player. So let's go on to the second. And I think these two, you can't go wrong choosing either one. But I'm going to narrow it down on how close to what fits your team if you need him. So let's start with Lee Smith. The dude's nasty. He's hitting K for nine through the roof. He throws a 99 fastball. And look at that fucking control. That control is just anything you want. This card's going to be nasty. Look at the break. The dude's nasty. The dude is nasty. He throws the slider and the cutter. The two pitches that you absolutely want on any pitcher. And then he has a fork ball, which is nasty. His control is 90, like, in velocity, 97. This card is exactly what you want. Um, but here's why I don't think if – here's when I, we're going to start talking about why you need this card and why you don't. Because the reason is there's so many other relief pitchers that are not better than him, but they're a lot – they're going to be a lot cheaper and – uh, let's be honest, a relief pitcher you don't necessarily need. With the way that energy is broken right now, people are using their starting pitcher seven, eight innings if they're doing good with them. And that only leaves one inning. And there's so many other relievers that are not as good, but just, just below this good. And I think that's the reason I shy away from Lee Smith if you're going to use him. But I'm going to be choosing Lee Smith because here's why. Let's look at Jason Bay. So Jason Bay, he's everything you want. He can play outfield, and he ju hits just as good. He's got the defense, and he's got the speed 64. Defense isn't the best, but it's not bad at all. And he, he's got really good stats. Problem is, he plays outfield, and my outfield literally is Alfonso Soriano. All right, it's Steve Finley, Mike Trout, and Byron Buxton. And he just, he doesn't... He doesn't break that. And the problem is, I've heard he doesn't have the best swing. Literally, he doesn't have like a... He doesn't lift his leg up. He just literally just hacks at the ball, which makes no sense. So, uh, he doesn't have a glitchy swing. He's a right-handed batter. 
And that's why I'm shying away. But if you need an outfielder, this is the guy you do. I would just recommend picking him up and then you could sell him too. So just try him out in like a friendly or something. But I think if you don't have good outfielders, this is who you go over Lee Smith all day. They didn't, like, there's literally, Don Mattingly literally doesn't exist in this game. Like, to be honest, like, this card, it's literally between Lee Smith and Bay. So I think you go Bay if you need the outfielder or the first baseman. Um, but I think if you have someone like, I would say if you have a lot of team finities, you go with Lee Smith because he's, he's a dominant closer. Like he can be your ninth inning guy who is literally just nobody can hit. So I think if, if you have like Byron Buxton, Steve Finley, and like in a team of Finney in the outfield, I think you go Lee Smith. But if you, um, have only like Byron Buxton and like a live series, um, uh, Joey Gallo, then you might want to try out Bay because Bay is really good. Like, look at those stats. If you can hit good, he's going to be amazing, dude. Like, he is literally just as good as any other hitter in the game right now. It's just that he doesn't have the glitchiest swing. I hope this narrows it down. Uh, I put it in pretty simple ter terms why, who you should pick. If you have a good team with, like, Trout and a whole bunch of team Fendies in the outfield, I think he'll lead. But if you don't and you need an outfield spot filled, that is like a live series gold or low 85 or something. You go Bay and try that card out because this card, like people don't like it because of the swing, but you can use it. You can try it out. I, I recommend it. I might even try them out because like, look at these stats. Like they're not bad at all. I think you should try them out if you, if you need an outfield spot filled. Uh, but that's it for the video. I'd appreciate if you guys would drop a like and subscribe if you're new and check out those links below. And we'll see you in the next video. Peace out.